Are you a general surgery aspirant looking for residency in the United States? Are you thinking of doing research prior to applying to residency? Let's go over the benefit of dedicated research time and its value, especially for international medical graduates. This is Malka Asad and welcome to my YouTube channel. General surgery is one of the competitive specialties in the residency match, especially for international medical graduates. According to the National Resident Matching Program NRMP, US medical students made up 67% of field cadicorical general surgery positions in 2020, while IMGs without US citizenship constituted 5% of field positions. When looking at the percentage of those who matched out of those who applied, the data shows that 85% of US students match compared to 31% of non-US IMGs. IMGs use dedicated research time as an opportunity to improve their CV establish connections within the field, and ultimately optimize their chances of matching into general surgery. When looking at the NRMP charting outcomes for IMGs applying to all specialties, we don't find a big difference in the research output between those who matched and those who did not match. However, when looking at IMGs applying to general surgery, we find a higher number of abstracts, presentations, and publications in the matching group. This raises the question of whether IMGs should have more research experience when they apply to general surgery residency to increase their chances of matching. One thing to be careful about here is that the NRMP data combines the number of abstracts, presentations, and publications together. As you may all know, a full text publication takes much more time than an abstract or presentation. This might bias the results especially that multiple abstracts and presentations can come out of the same project while it's harder to do that for full text articles. Moreover, these numbers reflect the total number of research output applicants have when they apply, which might have been done before, during, or after medical school, without spending dedicated research time. These publications might be from specialties other than the one you're applying for, which might not be as helpful as doing research in that same specialty. So the question is, should I take dedicated research time prior to applying to general surgery as an IMG? It seems that dedicated research time has a value that goes beyond the number of publications and was recently evaluated in a study published in the Journal of Surgical Education. This study assessed the value of dedicated research time from both the applicants and program directors' viewpoints. The authors of this study emailed all IMG applicants to their general surgery program during the years 2015 to 2018, asking about their research experience and matching outcomes. A total of 320 applicants completed the survey, of whom 46% spent dedicated research time in the US prior to residency. The majority of respondents spent research in clinical science and did research in general surgery or other surgical specialties. The median time spent was 20 months with the majority being after medical school and before residency. Spending more time in research led to more publications and presentations, but was not associated with matching into the preferred specialty. Although the dedicated research time group had more publications and presentations, they did not have better chances of matching into their preferred specialty or categorical general surgery. The authors also assessed the program director's view on dedicated research time for IMGs applying to general surgery, and 76 responded. The number of publications that program directors would consider productive during the research year was 2.5, and the number of presentations was 2. The majority had no preference in regards to the type of research, clinical versus basic science. When asked to rank the research-related factors, that they would place the most value on, the quality of the journal of publication and the type of publication received the highest rank. Quantity of publications came after. Only 8% of program directors find IMG research experience very important. And only 37% would recommend IMGs to take dedicated research time before applying to general surgery. A similar study in the plastic surgery literature says the value of research for all plastic surgery applicants, including US students. The authors found that the mean number of articles published during the research year was 5. 50% of program directors considered 3-4 to four publications to be productive, 
and 29% considered 5 to 6 publications to be productive. Similar to the previous study, quality of the journal of publication and type of publication had the highest ranking when reviewing an applicant's research experience. Although this study mainly assessed US students, it can give some insights in how program directors view dedicated research time. One major limitation of these two studies is the lack of applicants' characteristics such as USMLE Step 1 and Step 2 CK scores, letters of recommendation, and other aspects of the application which are important for both US students and IMGs. US clinical experience, language proficiency, visa status, and country of medical school are all important aspects of IMG's application and might have affected the decision to do research in the first place. For example, one potential explanation for the lack of difference in matching outcomes between those who did research and those who did not is that applicants with better scores and overall application might have chosen to apply without doing dedicated research time, while those without US clinical experience and lower scores opted to do research to strengthen their CV. Also, performance during the research year is extremely important in determining whether an applicant matches. Although both studies assess the objective outcomes of the research year such as the number of publications and presentations, program directors seem to favor the quality over quantity. Personality type and whether the applicant is a good fit for the program are other aspects that cannot be measured in numbers. IMGs should be aware that dedicated research time is a double-edged sword. Although it gives the applicant the chance to interact with US faculty and blend within the US healthcare system, it has some disadvantages, such as being away from clinical activity, which might affect an applicant's surgical and clinical skills. Moreover, many applicants are not successful in securing paid positions and can spend over $10,000 per year depending on the location. Therefore, the decision to take dedicated research time should be individualized and discussed with mentors. It should be based on your overall application, such as your scores, letters of recommendation, rotations and clinical experience, and willingness to take a prelim year prior to starting categorical general surgery. All these factors should be discussed with your peers who have taken part in the research year, counselors, and advisors. If you'd like to learn more about the pathway to general surgery and other surgical specialties, subscribe to my channel and send any questions you have to my Facebook page Malka Asad MD or my Instagram at Malka Asad. Thank you all so much for watching and see you in future videos.